Hey, what's up guys? This is my gaming PC build that I'm going to be using currently. It is actually really cheap to build and pretty decent. So, I, huh, people would say it's decent. I, I think it's just amazing. So, first off, I went with the AMD FX 8, 8350. Now, I was looking at this, I'm thinking, okay, the four the four core the one with four cores in it is like thirty bucks cheaper. Why not get this one <coughs> with more gigahertz? Didn't make sense to me. And it does come with a CPU cooler and whatnot. I don't need that. I mean I already I'll show you in a second. Um so I'll get rid of that. No integrated graphics which is good so I could put a nice graphics card. And uh it's four it's four point oh gigahertz. That's really good. I mean Eight cores up, yeah, that's good. So that's what I chose for the CPU, and I'll just look it up for you guys real fast. FX8350, that's it right here. It's a black edition. Vichera. And the computer I'm using is total garbage, but it's 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 a great it's a great CPU. And look, 4.2 gigahertz turbo. Can't go wrong with that. <clears throat> Next, what I have to show you is the liquid CPU cooler. Yeah, that's what I've been waiting to show you. Now I just couldn't. I just love the looks of it. How the little Corsair thing lights up. It just looks amazing. And it's so easy to put together and everything. I already looked all this up. It's totally compatible. It's liquid it's liquid cooled obviously. It's got a great fan RPM, it's twenty seven hundred RPM, noise level, not bad. It's perfect. So I, when I looked it up it was um it was it was on the top of the list pretty much. It wasn't exact when I wanted, but I I love it anyway. So I wasn't in love with the price, which is eighty five dollars. It's a lot of money, but you don't know, find with that. And the the theme of my computer, by the way, is going to be red and somewhat blue later on, because I was in the f I I mean I really wanted the red, but figured all the parts for the red would be expensive and out of stock because that's the common color. But you know, that's what I went for. And not much was out of stock. Next what I went for with the motherboard was the MSI 970 Gaming ATX AM3 Plus motherboard. Now this is a great motherboard if you want to overclock things. It's got uh, DDR3, uh, all DDR3 compatible, uh, ATX 9... 32 gigabytes of max memory. That's not bad because I don't think I need any more than that. And I'm getting more memory later on. I just want to get cheap for now. Uh, it does have crossfire support, which is that that's out of the world. That's like amazing. Um, RAID support. No onboard video, obviously, because don't want it. But if you guys want to see what it looks like. Nope, that's video. Basically, this is what it looks like. That those that quality, that's better. Uh, then there's the RAM, as you where you put your CPU, and two 3.0s. Cup, I don't know what those are. I can't really tell. I think those are more 3.0s. Can't really tell. Bunch of audio jacks, audio boost. What that that's one of the main things I liked about it because there's a good sound card in it. I might put one in, but it just, it's just the basic design of it looks really nice. I I don't know if this lights up. I think it does. Even if it doesn't, it still would look amazing. And I can give you the there was a video I found on the BIOS of it, so I can show you that. Turn the volume off. 
It just shows the bios. This isn't my. This isn't mine. Mine's mine's better. <laughs> mine's better than this guy's. But he has the um, same motherboard and where you can see overclocking for OC and then M flash for your BIOS by USB. And then your motherboard settings. Everything is really fancy. This looks like a Windows actually. It doesn't look all low quality and whatnot. It actually looks genuinely nice because it shows all that. And the date and all that temperature. Oh yeah, you control all your fans through in here. Okay, next up, we have the least favorite of the group. This, I didn't know. I, I didn't spend any time finding RAM. This is just the cheapest 8GB RAM they had. Uh, but I, well, not the cheapest. But I figured it's the best because it's 2 times 4 because when you have more than one, you get more speed from it. And, uh,. 1.5 volts. He, no, uh, there's heat spreader. No ECC. Not buffered. It's red amber, which is good because it's gonna match the color of mine, which I liked. And it's 1600, uh, 1600 DDR3, which was nice. That's not. It's not the worst. It's not the best, but it's eight gigabytes and it'll do me fine. Next up, another thing I'm not really like wild about a Seagate ST9 500 420 ASG. This is just a standard hard drive. I mean, it's just got SATA 3 gigabytes, second 16 megabyte cache, 7200 RPM. Obviously, I wouldn't go anything lower than that. If you're going to build a gaming computer, you don't want to go anything lower than that, or you're not going to have very good quality. 7200 is pushing it. I just wanted something that I could use, pick up right away. Now, here, <laughs> this is where I kind of my money rate went up. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm sure it's not that amazing to a lot of you gamers, but to me, I mean, I'm 13. This is pretty good for me. Uh, it's a uh, MSI N750 Ti TF 2 GD5 OC. It's GeForce GTX 750 Ti. That was pretty much. It's not what I wanted. I actually wanted a Radeon R9, but and I ended up looking at this and I really liked it. Two gigabytes of memory. That's 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 good. It's got a 1.08 gigahertz core clock. It's got it's got two fans in it, as you can see. No crossfire support, but does it really matter when you're on 1080 and everything? It's just a video card. It's got an HDMI, VGA, DVI, D dual link. And next up, we have the Corsair Spec 3 Red Case. This was one of the things I was excited about. Uh, I'll sh show you what this one looks like. Because that's kind of a cheap picture. No, 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 I meant images. No. Now these, <laughs> they're really nice. So basically you have your red fans in the front, you have your USBs and whatnot in the front. There's a 3.0 in the front, which I really like. Uh, mine's actually going to look somewhat like this, which I kind of noticed. Uh, yeah, I'll kind of like that, except this will all be red and whatnot. That's not my case though, so <laughs> can't say that. But basically, there's a glass panel right here. I'm not sure what size it is. It's sh free shipping. Uh, it comes with the r the fan and the LED, and it comes with that right there, and whatever. Really surprised about that. I loved it. Then, because my motherboard doesn't support Wi-Fi, I had to get one of these little guys. This is a. Uh, just the thing that you can get Wi-Fi with. It's a Asus PCE N10, 802.11n, 11b slash g slash n. My bad, because it totally makes it different. WP WP2. That that's all just basic garbage that everything has. I only pay like ten dollars for it. 
Oh yeah, I forgot to um, tell you the. I I I, I got a good uh, power supply. I mean, 500 watts. That's basically because I'm definitely gonna be overclocking in the future, and I'm gonna need that extra kind of power, you know. And with all the lights I'm gonna be having it, you can go. Ah, I can't talk. <laughs> I'm gonna have it. I'm definitely gonna need it. Then the last thing we have is the uh, steel sex steel. Wow, wow. I said steel sex. That's awesome. Steel series apex. <laughs> uh, it's basically it's a gaming. It's just you know just a gaming keyboard, but you know it's something different. If you look in every single picture, the colors are different. Hmm. Now why is that? Why would the colors be different? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you could change them. That's weird. And you have the USBs in them, which I like. Yes, it's backlit. It includes no mouse. But why? It's wired, which is fine. People who built that. Yeah. So basically, that's my computer build. It is a uh, $757. Uh, if you don't do the mail-in rebates, it's still at the verge of 800 bucks. It's a great deal. I'll be doing a bunch more videos like this. And I will see you next time.